Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. In today's segment and the subsequent ones, I want to go over a few useful herbs with you all so that way you can expand your knowledge and also your home herbal apothecary. So I got my herbal education, not in nursing school, but I had to pursue that separately from the School of Natural Healing. And Dr. John Christopher's School of Natural Healing, this is the book that I recommend. Actually, it goes all, uh, with a lot of the coursework that the classes um, teach. I'll put links to not only the school itself and the courses, but also the book in the description box below. Like I said, as a nurse, I didn't get education in herbs in nursing school. If anything, I got the exact opposite of propaganda in pharmacology class, even though I had a fantastic pharmacology professor like a really really good dude um, it's the general the general gist of what was taught in nursing school was that herbs were from a time long since past and we have evolved from this inferior form of medicine into highly scientified Jetson like era of, of cutting people up splicing them out and giving them high doses of pharmaceuticals which will maybe cure them maybe not but at least we'll make money and make ourselves feel better in our peer-reviewed studies on them uh, as you can tell I have no strong feelings on the subject but when it comes right down to it, herbs are very useful not only in reducing cost of care for many people, but also in many cases producing superior results. One of the herbs that I want to cover with you guys is comfrey, and I'm going to be covering a, a smattering of different herbs in the segments to come. But comfrey has kind of got a bad rap in a way, and one of the things that people are concerned about with comfrey and with the internal usage of comfrey is these alkaloid compounds, which essentially are very liver toxic, and some people have concerned that they produce different forms of cancer. What I find interesting, though, is that many of these studies that were evaluated um, the alkaloids and the relative risk factor for human consumption, they were using different cultivars of the plants and parts of the plants, of course, that have varying levels of these compounds. It's not like one ounce of comfrey is always going to have X number of level of, of alkaloids. That's not really the case. And so Susan Weed, actually, who's expertise on herbs I do respect, Susan Weed actually mentioned comfrey specifically, and I'll try and link to that video in which she discusses some of the overblown fears regarding its usage. Comfrey is a very interesting herb. It acts as an astringent, but it's also a, a mucilage agent. And again, if you're interested in learning more, get this book, okay? This is the gold standard, like I've talked about. Get this book. Um, but comfrey acts in, in many different ways in the body. It actually strengthens the lungs, and, and it supports the free functionality of the lungs. Uh, Dr. Christopher mentions that it's useful in hemorrhage of the lungs specifically to stop it. And we see also that comfrey is a cell proliferant. Basically, it makes cells grow faster. And for this reason, comfrey is used in many different herbal preparations involving tissue and wound healing. However, it's important that when you're using comfrey, especially if you're applying it topically to a wound, make sure that you've appropriately cleaned and disinfected that wound ahead of time. Because uh, that A, that's just good general practice. But also, if you're going to be encouraging cell growth and proliferation, we want to make sure that those cells are growing in a healthy and clean environment. It's a good point. If you have an individual whose liver function is suspect, like for instance, someone who is chronically taking a lot of Tylenol, acetaminophen, or someone who's taken a lot of pretty heavy hitting pharmaceuticals, uh, definitely the narcotics and the pain medication. If there's a question about the liver's functionality, I'm um, also somebody who drinks a lot. You got someone who's a heavy drinker and uh, like heavy drinking in men is two to three drinks a day. Like people have a different perspective on what the clinical diagnostic criteria is. If you are drinking more than about three beers a day for dudes, that's a heavy drinker. So if you got somebody who's drinking a lot, got to be careful with this. Dr. Christopher advocates that if a person's liver functionality is in question, to use the mature leaf of comfrey, avoiding the root and the young leaf. Uh, because from his experience, those parts of the plant tended to have a higher amount of alkaloids. So... Those are just some things to consider in your usage of comfrey overall. Comfrey has been used in many different preparations, uh, like I said, for hemorrhage of the lungs, but also for support of healthy tissue. And uh, many people actually advocate in the in in people who are rehabilitating from from wounds, from breaks, from tears, um, from sports injuries, to utilize comfrey in the in their overall health regime. So that's just a quick rundown of comfrey. I hope it was helpful for y'all. Like I said, I'll put links to this in the description box below. And I like to, as you can tell, I purchase a lot of uh, comfrey and I use a lot of it. I, you can grow your own, but I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> I've tried to grow my own and it, it takes a lot of work. Let me show you, by the way, what it looks like. I mean, it's just leaves. Little leaves. Ah, little leaves. That's the leaf of comfrey. 
And um, the preparation, of course, I'm not going to drag this out and show you how to prepare every single one because this video would be half an hour long. Just get the book, y'all. Get the book. Get the book. And um, go from there. I hope it was helpful for y'all. If you enjoyed the video today, I hope you'll subscribe to me here on YouTube. You can also support me on Patreon and Subscribestar as well as Cryptocurrency. And I have links in the description box below for you. I hope it was helpful for y'all. Have a wonderful week. For now, it's Patreon or sign off. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.